everyone, Harrison here from On The Mic Training, and today I want to talk to you about two of the really common microphone types that you'll see in voiceover. So right here I have an Audio-Technica 4040 condenser cardioid microphone, which means that it needs phantom power to work, and also it picks up kind of an infinity sign bubble around the mic. And why that's great for voiceover is it gives you a really big profile of your voice. Like now that I'm standing really straight onto it, you can see how much depth it, it, it gives. It gives a lot of low end, it gives a lot of high end, a lot of mids. It really has a nice balanced no, uh, sound, which is one of the reasons why these are the mics that we use in our studio at the school. I also have this, which is a shotgun microphone. So this is a BP4073 Audio-Technica microphone. And I really like these mics because really you don't have to be in a perfect room to get a good read. You know, um, They're fantastic for documentaries, they're fantastic for commercial reads, corporate reads, audiobooks. It means that even if your home studio isn't perfectly treated and maybe you've got a bit of a traffic problem down the street, you know, maybe you've got neighbors that, you know, are a little loud, chances are if you're recording on a properly calibrated shotgun, it won't even pick it up. That you can reject a lot of the noise because the way these things work is that they're singular directional. Basically, they're only picking up everything from a 22 degree angle from the front of the mic. Where these, as you can already hear, it gives you a lot more of the room but it also captures more of my voice because it's a bigger pickup pattern. So there's no wrong choice about which mic you use. It's only what's best for your voice and kind of where you're using it. You know, one of the reasons why I love shotgun mics is you can travel with them. You know, you can put it in its box, put it in your backpack, go somewhere, set up a blanket fort studio in your hotel room, and boom, you've got a place to audition if you're that active with your auditions. Um, but if you're gonna do a lot of animation and character reads where you want a huge profile of your voice and a lot of depth, I love these cardioid mics. So I hope that gives you some clarity about the two major types of uh, major types of microphones that are used in voiceover, um, and that can help you make a decision about where to invest your money. Um, personally, I think when you're starting and maybe you don't have the best studio in the world, you do get a lot of value out of a shotgun. But if you have done the investment and you have really converted a room for recording, then really the cardioid is the choice in the long run. But I know a lot of voiceover performers who have both, and advertise that they have both because it just means they can take on different types of jobs with different confidence levels.